Many people believe that their health issue is related to the underlying cause of bacteria or fungus. So many people say, you know, candida is the root of their issues. Well, there's another view that we can observe, another view that we can explore in that bacteria and fungus actually serve specific function in the body, just like in nature. They serve a purpose and a function. And are they really the issue or are they in fact the cleanup crew? Mainstream medicine is based on the principle that germs invade from the outside, that the, the innocent victim is attacked by microorganisms. Well, there's another perspective. What if I told you that an overgrowth of fungus or bacteria in the body was actually the body's attempt at correcting the imbalance, at correcting the underlying issue? So in fact, it was indicating that there was something else underneath that that was the initial problem. Pleomorphism is a view looking at the body as, as natural, as a part of nature. And when we look at what happens in nature, a tree drops to the forest floor, it will develop bacteria that will begin to break down the tree, break down the wood, uh, making food for other organisms. Uh, and then eventually it goes into a fungal state. And this is the final decay state where that log, that tree, then becomes recycled back into the earth and it becomes another life source, another energy. It transforms into a new state. Pleomorphism is the understanding that all things are in cycle and just like in nature, bacteria and fungus serve a perfect function in the human body. And in fact, we have more microorganisms in the human body than cells. So we need these guys. They're absolutely fundamental to a healthy body. The difference being that what we need to understand is the cycle. And that's where pleomorphism really comes in because pleomorphism shows us that initially we have what is known as a protid, a bion, a somatid. It was, had various names, but we'll call it a protid, which in fact is like a spark of light. So we have gazillions of these sparks of light and they are a part of our organism. When we have an issue that comes into the body, a toxin, uh, something that's thrown us out of balance, well, this protein will actually go through morphogenic stages. So it'll actually morph into a form of bacteria in an attempt to clean up the underlying issue that is now happening in the body. If it's not able to clear the issue in a bacterial state, and it will go through different forms of bacteria, then it will eventuate into a fungal state. The fungus is the final breaking down of, of the decay of the matter. In the fungal state, if it cannot then eradicate the issue from the body, that's where things get really complicated. But the astonishing thing is this, if the protein, which is now morphed into a bacteria, morphed into a fungus, if it can correct the imbalance in the body at any one of these stages, it will then actually transform back into that spark of light. Pleomorphism is not a popular view in this day. And in fact, mainstream medicine is built on the germ theory of disease, which was really made popular by Louis Pasteur back in the day, where the idea was we had to kill all the bacteria, we had to kill all the fungus, kill all the germs. Well, when we understand pleomorphism, which the, these, the cycle of pleomorphism was actually proven with Reif's universal microscope, because here we could actually see this process of the protein morphing through the different stages and then actually becoming again another spark of light, so another part of your life force. So if we are then to just blanket, kill all the bacteria, kill all the fungus, we're actually killing part of the life force, aren't we? I'm going to suggest that as opposed to annihilating everything and decreasing their life force in the process, what if we were to restore the pleomorphic cycle in the body, restore homeostasis, restore the balance, so that 
all of these microorganisms that are trying to do their thing and clean up your body, we can help them in that process. And then these guys actually really work in your favor because they are then restored back to your life force, increasing your life force. William Koch was an amazing researcher and he in fact actually tried to validate and prove that Louis Pasteur's germ theory was, was correct. And he tried to add to that theory. And by proving that um, germs could be, the same germs could be found in all people suffering with the same condition, um, and that healthy people that were exposed to these germs would develop the same disease. And this theory was in fact really blown apart when he discovered, he discovered that healthy people could carry these germs of certain uh, diseases and yet have no symptoms. And it's interesting because people who believe that candida, for example, is the foundation of their issue, there are people that have huge amounts of candida in the body and yet have no symptoms. They have no issue. It's not a problem in their body. So the idea that um, all germs cause disease and that uh, the fungus is the root of your disease, um, the, what can be shown is that this, in fact, is, is really not correct. Claude Bernard was another amazing researcher, and he, in fact, uh, held on to the pleomorphic theory and was so uh, attuned in its, in its correctness that he demonstrated in front of a medical board the fact that his belief that the bioterrain of the body was much more important and significant than uh, any germ issues. And he proved this by standing in front of a panel and drinking a glass of E. coli bacteria, which generally the, the main idea of the day was that would kill you. <laughs> well, he drank this glass of E. coli bacteria and because he was so confident in the bioterrain, the, the balance of the cycle in his own body, that he had no, no outward symptoms uh, or issue with that because his body was so imbalanced that it could easily tolerate that without any problems. Claude Bernard held the view that the bioterrain, the internal environment within the body was so much more important than the germ when it came to explaining why people get ill. In his work, it was really revealed and, and demonstrated that the acidity in the blood or the acidity in the tissue was a terrain that was ideal for disease to develop. When the terrain of the body becomes acidic, this is an electrical imbalance, and we are electrical beings. Every cell has an electrical charge. So when we become acidic, we get this uh, imbalance in the electrical systems in the body. Now, this is when microbes begin to evolve into pathogenic states and to carry out the, the, the function that nature intended, the cleanup crew. They are trying to correct the imbalance, correct the acidity. In correcting the acidity, the electrical imbalance, we then give the opportunity of pleomorphism to complete the cycle and return that pathogenic activity back into your life force restoring the life force in the body and restoring homeostasis, restoring the balance, restoring the electrical charge.